on Saturday, August 15th, 7-Eleven and Itoyokado, in a collaboration with giant Japanese toy company Bandai, released a lottery for Animal Crossing's New Horizon, and it was insane. Even if you haven't played Animal Crossing, you've probably heard about it because it exploded in popularity this year. It was really the only light in the darkness that is 2020. It is not a new series, it is one of the oldest and dearest game franchises of Nintendo. And in 2020, the franchise's most recent release, New Horizons, came and experienced a popularity that none of us ever imagined. I would even go as far as saying that New Horizons is probably the most popular that I have ever heard or seen. Animal Crossing come to be. It has become a cultural phenomenon. So it's really no surprise to anyone that when this lottery came out, it sold out in like a day. And I can shed more light and insight on the madness that was the Animal Crossing lottery in the latter half of the video. Instead, we will first go into what we're all here for, the goodies that you can get through the Animal Crossing lottery. If you're unfamiliar with this lottery, let me just give you a very short overview of what it's all about. It is called Ichiban Kuji. It is actually not under 7-Eleven or Ito Yokado. Those are just the store locations that are hosting the lottery. It is actually brought to you by a very famous toy company in Japan, Bandai. You've probably heard of Bandai if you're into collecting things like character goods or character figures or merchandise of that sort. The literal translation of Ichiban Kuji is best lottery or number one lottery and it is quite literally one of the best lotteries if you want to get exclusive limited time character merchandise it is one of the best ways to get those kinds of things because you cannot get that anywhere else but at participating store locations that is in 7-eleven and ito yokado because of the exclusivity of the merchandise of this lottery this makes it very popular for collectors and fans Basically how it works is you would go to any participating 7-Eleven convenience store or Ito Yokado. Mind you, not all stores are hosting this lottery because some stores just don't have the space to be able to store all the goodies. And you can find out which stores are participating in this lottery by checking out Bandai's Ichiban Kuji website. In terms of how it works, I'll be sharing with you the lottery system that happens at 7-Eleven because I am more familiar with that one and I've never experienced one at Ito Yokado. When you step inside a 7-Eleven, there is going to be a shelf or an area dedicated to this lottery. You can't miss it. There's usually a huge billboard and artwork that is advertising the lottery. You would get a little lottery card. You'd bring over that lottery card, pay at the counter, and then you would open up the flap to reveal the prize underneath. Now the great thing about this lottery system is there is no way you can miss out on it. Every single lottery ticket is a win. There is a prize that you will get for every draw. For the Animal Crossing lottery, there were seven different categories of prizes and each category is designated a letter of the alphabet. The degree of rarity being that A is the most rare and then G is the most common. So that means there's a limited number of tickets that are designated as prize A and a lot more tickets that are designated as prize G. For certain categories of prizes, you are able to choose from within the lot. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what prizes are found in each category and naturally, I'll also be able to give you a close-up. And with that, let's get started with the prizes of the Ichiban Kuji Lottery Animal Crossing New Horizons. I will start with the most common item that is the G prize and then we'll make our way up to the most rare or the A prize. The G prizes are towels and you have the choice of being able to pick out the design of your towel in this category. There are two different kinds of towels that you can choose from, the first being hand towels or mini towels and the second being long towels or face towels. There are four different kinds of hand towels that you can choose from and of course I will be unwrapping each one to give you a closer look. So the first one features all the nooks. Tom Nook and Timmy and Tommy or the Nooklings and this in Japanese right here it says Tanuki Kai Hatsu in English the Nook Inc and that is basically the company that Nook runs on your New Horizons island. It's all green and white those are like the colors of the Nooks and there is an ever famous leaf symbol for Animal Crossing. From the back side you can get a better idea of the texture that the towel has there's a bit of fabric here it's not completely microfiber. The next towel design is a much more marine design or marine themed. 
It has the same make and texture of the nook towel that we saw earlier. Uh, only this one is a lot less Animal Crossing E. You don't really know that it's Animal Crossing until you get a closer look. It has a very soft pastel-y look to it and it reminds me a lot of the colors that were used in the mermaid DIY recipes. I would say there are more themes related to fishing and the shells that you find on the coast. And there are a set of villagers right in the middle. There are silhouette designs. They seem like very general shadows, but I'm pretty sure some of you can figure out which characters they are based on the way they stand. The next towel I will share has my favorite design among all the hand towels because it has faces of a bunch of different characters. There are so many things going on here that you can appreciate. It's a lot more colorful compared to the first two that we've seen. You have the nooks featured on it. You also have Isabel and you have KK Slider key characters of the Animal Crossing series. And then what took me by surprise were the um, other villagers or the other characters that were chosen to appear on this towel design. They are not like the most popular characters. They're pretty up there, but I wouldn't say that they are the characters to represent Animal Crossing. And please correct me if I'm wrong here, but I see Fang and Apollo and Aurora. I'm really surprised that Aurora is featured here. Fang I know to be incredibly popular in Japan, but he's not martial level popularity. And I just got Fang in my campsite the other day, so I'm really excited to see what he's like as a villager. And then there is Apollo. In Japan, Fang is more popular than Apollo, but he has his own following. I would say Apollo is more popular outside of Japan. And then I love that in the bottom right hand corner, you have this huge logo of Animal Crossing. And in the other corners, you have island fruits. The native fruit of my island are peaches, by the way, in case you were wondering. And uh, all of the fruits are represented on this towel. The last of the hand towels that you can get is this Isabel hand towel. And what's great about this one is the backside has like a negative um, effect of the front design. So the colors are swapped. You can see what a stark contrast the use of colors are in either towel. In the Nook towel, they at least have two different colors. They have green and white, but this one is just like two different colors of pink. I'm not a huge fan of this. I think what it is is that I don't associate pink with Isabel. I think greens, yellows, maybe checkered patterns, but not pink. I wouldn't choose pink to represent the, her character. But anyway, let's take a look at the texture, which is completely different than that of the three towels we saw earlier. This has longer fibers, so it has a much softer feel, a softer texture compared to that of the previous towels. I wouldn't use these so much as a sweat towel. I would probably use them to like mop up spills or to just like wash your hands or wash your hands, wipe your hands with. Um, this one I would be more willing to use on my face because it's feels nicer to touch. So those are the four designs of the mini hand towels. Let's head into the long towels or the face towels and there are only two different designs that you can choose from. The first, I will show you the more colorful of the two. It's quite long. It's not even able to fit into the shot. So I'm afraid I'm gonna just have to move it side to side but you can just see what a nice gradient this has. It starts off with yellow, then goes into blue, and it ends off with green. I think these are good colors to represent the island version of the Animal Crossing game. So first off, let's go from the yellow part of the towel. You have the island represented in this end with the lighthouse and two palm trees. And right in the middle, which takes up the majority of the towel. I have never heard it or seen that kind of slogan before, though that must be something that is exclusive to this uh, merchandise lineup. And then we'll head on over to the other end. You see another mini island over here, but this time you have a villager and a house right on the island. That is definitely a bear cub villager. As to which one, uh, you can probably use your imagination to fit in whatever character you'd like. I want to guess that is Judy. 
The texture of the towel is very similar to the first three hand towels that I showed you earlier. It has very short fibers here. I wouldn't use this to mop up spills because it's a rather thin material, but I think it is quite good to drape over your neck. That's actually what a lot of Japanese people do to beat the summer heat. They would dip their towel, a thin towel, in cool water, wrap it around your neck, and it would create a sort of cooling effect. So I think that towel is quite perfect for that kind of thing. The other towel has a texture that is very similar to the Isabel towel we saw. It has longer fibers and it doesn't look like Animal Crossing until you take a closer look at it. It has this sort of uh, tribal or vector-like design and pattern to it. This design is what a lot of the Japanese like to associate with camping. This kind of tribal or vector repeated design and pattern. They have a very set image of what constitutes a particular design or style and that is defined with a certain set of colors and patterns. So for the basis of this video, I would say a lot of the merchandise that you're going to see will feature this sort of camping design or pattern. There are faces of key characters that are set in the middle of the pattern. So first up we have here is KK Slider, followed by one of the Nooklings. Is that Tom Nook? I want to say that's Tom Nook. There's another Nookling. And last is Isabel. What I like about this towel is you don't know that it's Animal Crossing until you have to take a closer look at it. And yes, well, I do appreciate merchandise that screams Animal Crossing. Sometimes you just want a little bit of subtlety. I like the long towels or the face towels more than the mini towels purely based on designs. For this to be one of the more common prizes that you can get, it's pretty great. The quality is there, the design, the texture, the colors, they're worth a lottery draw. And you can't go wrong with towels. Everyone needs towels one way or another. Now let's go one rank up to the F prizes and they are plastic mugs. You have a choice of three different designs, a yellow, blue, and a green one. I was a little taken back that the more rare prize is a plastic mug compared to a towel because it's just a plastic mug. I mean, it's the kind that you can get at a dollar store. But when you actually open it up and take a closer look at it, this is a high quality plastic mug. Uh, I would still rather get a towel over a plastic mug, but anyway, this is what the green one looks like. It has the nooks featured on it. It has the same color scheme as the hand towel we saw. Same design, that of nook ink right here. And you know it's a higher quality because look at the thickness of the mug. It's a rather sturdy more durable type of plastic as well it is not your dollar store plastic quality the dollar store mugs uh, clearly are made of thinner plastic i would feel more confident throwing this across the gravel not that i really would but you get the idea throwing this across the road or letting it drop from a high place i wouldn't fear the, this breaking compared to that of a dollar store quality uh, plastic mug here is the yellow one Again, it is a lot less Animal Crossing-y. It's a very bright, vibrant yellow. And finally, the blue mug. This is my favorite design of the three because it has the nooklings on a little island. And one of them has a little flag. I don't remember who holds the flag. And there's a little red balloon flying away in the distance. I love that they're wearing the shirts that they first appear in when you start the game. I miss those shirts, but since they're running Nook's Cranny right now, um, they're obviously not wearing those shirts anymore. What's great about these cups is that they are made so that you can place them one on top of the other. They look really good as a set. I like the colors, uh, it's so well chosen. They fit really well together. I don't know if I'll be using them to drink out of because I don't really go camping. Uh, you've probably noticed that a lot of the merchandise are more or less related to camping goods or camping 
items. So this is made to be durable should you like go out in the wild and just kind of drop it like it'll be fine. But since I don't go camping, I'm probably just going to use this to like store my stationery and I'll probably use one as a drinking cup and maybe one to put in the bathroom. You can still use these mugs even if you don't camp. I personally think the G prizes are better than the F prizes because, I mean, in the end, it, plastic is plastic. So let's go into the next ranking of prizes, and that is the E prize. This I was rather surprised with because zipper bags. There are four different designs of zipper bags that you can choose from. There are two small sizes, or they're rather medium-ish, and then two large sizes. So we'll go through the small sizes first. The first is this. Again, it features the nooks, the same design in the mini towel, and the plastic mug. Now, I'm surprised as why this would be ranked at higher than like a plastic mug and higher than a towel. But when you hold it in your hand, this is not like your dollar store variety type of zipper bag because there's a sort of sturdiness to it and there's a very visible quality and texture to it. It's not like very cheap plastic like this, but it's thick plastic. So the bag can be stretched out to hold quite a number of things. And the front has that green design, so if you face it towards the front, it kind of hides the items that uh, appear in the bag. But if you turn it around, the back is more clear, so you have a better idea of what items are being held inside this bag. And all the zipper bags have this sliding lock on top. So yeah, definitely not your run-of-the-mill dollar store level zipper bag, but in the end, it's still a zipper bag. The last of the small size zipper bags, the design I was quite confused of at first because this doesn't seem like anything I have seen at Animal Crossing. But after doing a little bit of research, I found that this design is actually of a paper bag that drops when you drop like an ocarina or a tambourine. It appears in the form of a paper bag that has a little bear on the front. I personally have never seen this happen in New Horizons, if you have, let me know. So I am not familiar with this design at all, but maybe for veterans or players who have been playing for a while, you probably are familiar with this. For me, I was like, what, what, what is this? No clue. So it's very similar to the Nook's um, zipper bag, only this time the front and the back part of it, wow, this is hard to open. Uh, both are colored, so it's a nice sort of secret pouch. If you don't want anyone to see what you have inside your zipper bag, you use this one. You really can't see anything. If you're not afraid to show it off a bit, but have like half privacy, you use this one. For full privacy, go for this one. So that is number two of the two small designs. Let's go into the larger of the zipper bags. Number one of two. Front design is a little bit more clear but the back design, you can see through it. What I do like about it is that the back one has another type of design and it has shells that you can pick up from the beach and that is lining the bottom part of the back of the pouch and then you have that logo. Only fans of Animal Crossing will recognize that this is actually an Animal Crossing bag. I would say the same goes for this one. These are the less obvious of the designs. The last one is a bell pouch because money, as you know, is a big part of the game. And so with the money, you have to have the nooklings right there. I think they're so cute. I think this is my favorite um, of the designs of the zipper bags. It's a very soft line art of them. What's really more visible is the huge bell pouch that is right here. And then you have in the corner the Animal Crossing logo. The back side has a different design too, and it's also quite transparent. You can see through the pouch. And 
you can see through the bell as well. So those are the four different types of zipper bags that you can get. Of course you can choose which design you would like if you happen to draw that ticket. Next up is the D prize and this one was one of the things that I wanted the most and it is a drink bottle. Let's just take a look at the packaging really quickly because it's so nicely packaged. It is actually a depiction of the sea or the ocean and you are fishing. I love, love, love this design. So there's a little island here. Maybe it's hard to see from the glare, but there's a little island here and you have three animal villagers there. You can probably figure out who they are. I want to say that's gotta be Diana and that's probably uh, Bunny. And the anteater is the one fishing. So how the design works is that you have part of the sky up here and then what's tinted in blue is the ocean or the water and you have little dark, blue fishies and then in some pink coral hanging about in the bottom and the logo of the New Horizons. So what's really cool about this one is how it looks when you fill it with water. Oh, it comes with this catch. I don't really know what this is called or what the purpose of this is. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. I'm still trying to figure out what this is. I've tried googling and I still have no idea. Because of the blue tint of the bottle, when you fill it up with water, it really does make the ocean or the sea part of it pop a bit more. So it literally looks like the island is floating on the sea. So, so cool. What an innovative design. I am so pleased that I was able to get this. Right, so that was prize D. Prize C it was an insulated lunch bag. It was a very cute design. It has a white background with elements and motifs associated with Animal Crossing. I personally found the size to be a little too big for my daily purposes, so I skipped over that. Of course, if you are a frequent camper or you often go on road trips, it's a great bag to have because it's insulated. It'll keep things cool, it'll keep things hot. It's great for on the road. I don't go on the road a lot, so I passed over that. We'll go straight to prize B, which is a blanket. This was the other one of the prizes that I really, really wanted because you can't go wrong with a blanket. It's great for any season. And it's not too thick so that it's only deemed for winter. It's not too thin to make it only deemed for summer. It can be totally used all year round and it was actually advertised as a leisure rug which is Japanese for like a picnic sheet so it's meant to be spread out on the ground on the grass so you can lie on top of it but I'm going to be using this as a blanket so I'm going to be calling it that it's bundled up by this green strap which has velcro at the end so it's very easy to remove and to put back on it looks like a leash and I am certain that this is not going to be able to fit into the frame of the camera so I'm going to be uh, showing a separate footage for this later but this is basically another kind of camping design here very similar to the long towel a lot more colorful though you can see a lot of oranges and blues and greens they're a nice color scheme that represents New Horizons. Again, very random pickings of characters. Not the most popular ones. Not totally unknown either, but I have to wonder what kind of decision process goes into which characters are going to be featured on this merchandise. It's a very soft fabric, very similar to fleece, and both sides of the blanket have the same fabric. I wonder what it is. Oh, polyester. All right. I had to do a little bit of maneuvering and moving around of things to be able to fit into this shot. So let's give it a try. And I still can't get it to fit inside the shot, but I hope you're able to get a better sense of how the blanket looks in most of its entirety. It is a very colorful blanket. It is long. I believe it's 150 centimeters long. 
And I can finally give you a close-up of the characters that appear on the blanket. So let's see which characters are featured on the blanket. And if I'm wrong about any of them, please do let me know. My knowledge is not very wide. I believe that's Peanut. That's Rosie. Fauna. Apollo. Molly. KK Slider. Bunny? Is that right? There's a bunny called Bunny. How weird is that? Fang, who just came to my village. Did I skip some? I saw Tom Nook earlier. Yep. There's Tom Nook. He's on a smaller line, so it's a smaller scale. Stitches! I believe that the sizing of some characters are a little different. Like, let's see. Stitches up here in the corner is a little bit smaller than Molly. Okay, let's go to the next layer. I'm checking so that I don't miss anybody. Oh, there's a nookling. It's like hide and seek here. That's gotta be Aurora. Colton! That's right, Colton. Isabel. And finally, Goldie. I forgot how this was wrapped up, so I'm gonna have to spend some time figuring out how to bundle this up all over again. So I will put that aside for now because we are heading into the most wanted of the prizes, the A prize. Before I take him out of the bag, I just want to share the tag because it's so cute. It is of the Nooklings, Timmy and Tommy, and you know that I love my plush toys, so I really, really, really wanted this one. The Nooklings! Oh my gosh, this is like the most awesome thing I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one is Timmy, which one is Tommy, you can pick, but it is the Nooklings and they are wearing that awesome leaf shirt and they are holding that tent that they first give you to be your first house. The back is just as detailed as the front. Look at their little tails! They are twins in every way. I love the shape of their nose, their noses. Everything about them is great. They are of great quality, great build. They feel so soft. I just can't get enough of it. And look at their shirts, the details on their shirts. You can see the leaf designs very well. And their buttons are plastic buttons, plastic brown buttons. And they have the little logo of the Animal Crossing leaf. Oh my gosh, this is everything. If you're wondering what they are or what this is, this is a tissue case. This part, the tent part, is the cover of a tissue box. And I love that they are holding hands here, right there, attached to the tent. And you can also see that from the back. And the other hands also have attachment to the tent. This is everything. Wow, this is amazing. This is so worth a draw to get the A prize. This is a, an amazing A prize. So those are the regular prizes, but you must know that there is one more exclusive prize, as in this is a very, very special prize, and you can only get this prize by pulling the last ticket of the lottery and which is why this prize is called the last one prize. So essentially, the only way to get this is by being the last person to pull the last ticket or to buy the last ticket in the lottery. The last one is all about timing with a little bit of luck. Whether or not you can ask the store clerks how many tickets are left, I want to say that is possible. They would let you know. I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, again, it can depend on whoever's managing the store at the moment. And I'll be behind camera for this because it definitely won't fit in this shot. Get your body, hearts, and minds ready for the awesomeness that is the last one prize. 
a mini table! Can you believe that this can be worth 650 yen? Okay, let's open it up. I'm just as excited to see what it's like. The slow reveal. Oh. I wonder how long it is. Third party sites are selling this for around 7,500 yen or 70 US dollars and up. Whoops, that's upside down. Oh my gosh, it's so much better in person. Look at that. It's everything. So you see the same design that we saw in the blanket, that camping slash tribalesque design is on the top and the bottom. And then you have a slew of characters that are featured in the body of the table. I love that there's a sky and that logo of New Horizons and this grass. It's just, oh, so soothing to look at it. I love this so much. I'm so glad I was able to get this. Even for as much as I had to pay for it, it's worth it. Worth it. You can not get this anywhere else but that Ichiban Kuji lottery. I have no idea who most of these villages are. I can only recognize like Gladys and Apollo, Stitches, Isabel, obviously, and the Nooklings and Tom Nook, KK Slider, Lily! Oh my gosh, Lily! I have her on my village and she is best girl. She is my girl. It is thick, sturdy, and some of it is plastic. I want to say there's other material mixed in there because it doesn't seem bendy or looks like it's gonna flex. There are legs, steel legs, that are locked in place and can be unlocked simply by lifting it up, like so. This is great to bring along on your camping trip or your road trip. Again, a lot of the merchandise is meant for camping, and so when you want to set your like mugs, you totally can. Your drink bottle your towel. It's perfect for a little placeholder. I will most likely be using this as a portable placeholder for things when I'm like filming or uh, if I'm journaling and I need a place to put uh, materials or resources or tools on the side. But such a useful table, very easy to carry, very portable, very light, and can be easily tucked away by simply pushing in the legs. Oh, and before I put it away, I do want to share that there are anti-slip ends at the end of the legs, so this prevents it from slipping and sliding around. They really put quite a bit of thought into this. Amazing. Okay, so those are all the prizes for the Ichiban Kuji Animal Crossing New Horizons Lottery. So now it's time for me to share with you the craze that was this lottery. It was so popular that it sold out in like a day in several 7-Eleven locations across the country. And in some cases, it sold out the day before it was released because some stores like opened up its stock um, or set up their display the night before and there were some very, very lucky people that caught that and so they bought out the stock on that night so there was really nothing left for the actual day of release. Unfortunately, a lot of the selling out was due to scalpers so these are people who would buy out the entire stock and resell it for a much higher price on third-party sites like Yahoo Auction or Mercari. And we're talking about like a hundred tickets worth in this lottery system. So that means there were people willing to shell out $600, $700 to buy out the entire stock for the sake of reselling it at a higher price. And unfortunately, that happened a lot. And to the point where a majority of 7-Eleven locations, Ito Yokado locations have sold out of their stock by 10 o'clock on release day. And that was definitely the case for this lottery because it's Animal Crossings, it's New Horizon. It was one of the biggest things 
that made 2020. And so there was a lot of rage and frustration over the fact that it would just be sold out so quickly. It was a very difficult time to appreciate this lottery because of that, and unfortunately that was the case. No one was really surprised to the extent of the popularity of this lottery. What was surprising was how quickly it was gone and how fast entire stocks were depleted. I actually even had to resort to buying off um, some of these third-party sellers because I just couldn't get my hands on lotteries at my nearby 7-Eleven. They were already sold out by the time I checked it out. And in some locations, they have resorted to limiting the number of draws or tickets that you can purchase, like three per person, five per person. But that came a little too late at preventing a majority of the buyouts. So it was still a little unfair for a lot of people. So hopefully this is something that 7-Eleven and Bandai can learn from and create a sort of new system or way to keep it more fair or to prevent buyouts like this from happening, especially with popular franchises like Animal Crossing. So that was my haul of the Ichiban Kuji Animal Crossing Lottery. I hope you enjoy going through it as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that bell. And check out my channel for more hauls and fun Japan stuff. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me, and I'll see you in the next video!